Hi there, grade 9. I'm going to discuss theorems on rectangle. But before I begin with my lecture, I'd like you to click the subscribe button for you to get notified whenever I upload new lecture videos. So as what I was saying, I'll be discussing theorems on rectangle. But before we proceed to that, let us recall some important terms. First, let's recall what is quadrilateral. So a quadrilateral is a four-sided two-dimensional polygon. So meaning a quadrilateral has four sides. So these are examples of quadrilaterals. Now, some of these quadrilaterals are also considered as parallelograms. So how do we define parallelograms? So a parallelogram is a special quadrilateral with two pairs of opposite sides which are congruent and parallel. And this is the family of parallelogram. We have rhombus. So a rhombus class is a parallelogram with four congruent sides. Rectangle is also a parallelogram with four congruent interior right angles. Well, square is a parallelogram with four congruent interior right angles at the same time, four congruent sides. Now, the theorem states that if a parallelogram is a rectangle, then it has congruent diagonals. So if we have this uh, a figure considered as rectangle A, B, C, D. So we have to prove really that their diagonals are congruent. So we're going to prove here line segment AC congruent to line segment BD. So the first statement, rectangle, we have rectangle A, B, C, D, and this is given. Now, right angle D, A, B, and or rather angle D, A, B, and angle C, B, A are right angles. Because in the definition of a rectangle, a rectangle has four right angles. Now, in statement three, angle DAB here and angle CBA are congruent because all right angles are congruent. congruent. Okay, there. Now we have this figure considered as parallelogram ABCD because a rectangle is a parallelogram as what we have defined parallelogram. So a rectangle is a parallelogram. Now Line segment AD is congruent to line segment CB. So this is AD. So this is congruent to BC because opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. So they're congruent. Now, line segment AB is congruent to line segment AB because of reflexive property. Now, we can say that triangle DAB class is congruent to triangle CBA. So, we're going to consider the previous statement. Previous statements that angle DAB is congruent to CBA. AD is congruent to BC and AB is congruent to AB. So we can conclude that the two triangles are congruent. So we define two triangles to be congruent if their corresponding parts, if the six corresponding parts are congruent. But under the sun, the under the side angle side triangle congruence, if two sides and if the two corresponding sides of two triangles and corresponding included angle are congruent, then we can say that the two triangles are congruent under the side angle side triangle congruence. 
since we are able to prove that the two triangles are congruent, so we can say that the six corresponding parts are congruent. Since AC and BD are the corresponding parts of the two congruent triangles, then we can say that the two really are congruent. And this is because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Okay? So how about the converse? If a parallelogram has congruent diagonals, then it is a rectangle. So given here parallelogram ABCD with the diagonals congruent, then we have to prove that this parallelogram is also a rectangle. So the first statement is given. Where the second statement, AB is parallel to DC. This one, no? And then AD is parallel to BC because that's the definition of a parallelogram. So how do we define again a parallelogram? A parallelogram has two pairs of opposite sides parallel. Now for number three, line segment AD is congruent to line segment BC. Because opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. Now, AB is congruent to AB, while DC is congruent to DC. Okay? And then DC to DC. It's because of reflexive property. Now, we can conclude that, again, triangle DAB is congruent to triangle CBA, while triangle ADC congruent to triangle ABCD, AB, uh, BCD rather. Since the two pairs of triangles have three corresponding sides to be congruent, then we can conclude that the two pairs of triangle in statement five are congruent. And this is about side, side, side triangle congruence. Now, angle DAB class is congruent to angle CBA, while angle ADC is congruent to angle BCD. And this is because congruent or corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Now, with number seven, angle DAB supplement with angle CBA, as well as angle DADC supplements with angle BCD. So this is because the interior angles on the same side of the transversal line are supplementary and the diagonals are considered as the transversal lines, okay? So this is about the interior angles of on the same, on the same side of transversal line are supplementary there. So to continue, so we can say that measure of angle DAB plus measure of angle CBA equals 180 as well as measure of angle ADC plus measure of angle BCD equals 180 because the sum of the measure of supplementary angles is 180 degrees. Okay, for the next statement, this is supposed to be measure of angle DAB equals measure of angle DAB equals 180. Now we have measure of angle ADC plus measure of angle ADC equals 180. 
And this is because measure of angle DAB equals measure of angle CBA. And measure of angle ADC equals measure of angle BCD. So what we really did in the 10th statement was purely substitution. So we substituted the value or we substituted measure of angle CBA to DAB as well as we substituted measure of angle BCD to ADC. So we got these equations. In the next statement, we have twice the measure of angle DAB equals 180 and then twice the measure of angle ABC equals 180. So we just added the two similar terms. So we came up with this equation. So this is basically addition property of equality or we basically added similar terms. Okay, so the next statement would have measure of angle DAB equals 90 while measure of angle ADC equals 90. So we isolated M on each left side of the equation by multiplying both sides by one half. So upon multiplying both sides by one half, we got the 12 statement. And this is about multiplication property of equality. So here, we have angle DAB, angle CBA, angle ADC, and angle BCD are right angles. Because a right angle measures 90 degrees. And with that, ABCD is a rectangle because a rectangle has four right angles. And we were able to prove the converse of this theorem to be true. So that's for now.